elections seem to bring everyone out as a candidate for office. There are at least 7,000 candidates who are running for members of parliament. 1,300 of them are women, and they're only going to fill about 360 seats. As you can see, there are posters plastered everywhere across the city. The candidates are going to be looking to try and fill the seats for their party across 32 different parties to be able to have influence in the Iraqi government. Current Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi is actually running for his seat, but he's also running against former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. There are other people who are running as well, such as the members of the Popular Mobilization Forces, who fought alongside the Iraqi army during the defeat of Daesh, but many Iraqis feel that they may actually cause further divide. And there is still other members of the public, such as Murtada Azevi, who gained his claim to fame when he threw a shoe at the former U.S. President George W. Bush during a press conference years ago. All those Iraqi politicians who supported George Bush and the occupier gave nothing to Iraq for the past 15 years of their rule. They should be kicked out of Iraq just like we did the U.S. occupying forces. Nevertheless, the Iraqis are concerned about things like development, jobs, security, and being able to get back to normal life. And those are the issues that they're going to be focusing on in this election when they go to the polls later in the week.